Nel program fih xi prodotti kummerċjali. Ready? Let's do it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Guess what? It's a Saturday. Yeah! It's one television. Yeah! Welcome once again to the Saturday Night Project. Yeah! Oh, yes. <laughs> Every Saturday night, we get the very best of Malta's musicians, artists, DJs, sports people, personalities, and we ask them to join us for the evening, don't we, Paul? We certainly do, Trudy. We invite them into our studio. We get to know them, we have some games with them, we grill them, we bully them a little bit, and basically have a darn old good laugh. On tonight's show, Trudy's profile, the quick fire round, the in-depth round, and our personal favorite, the intros round. Oh, wonderful. And if we're really, really lucky this evening, we'll be getting our musical guests to sing live for us, as well as showing us their latest music video. Absolutely. On the show tonight, we have Mr. Greg Attard and The Crowns. Oh, yes. <laughs> so let's get the show underway and invite Chris, Luke and Victoria from The Crowns. Come on. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Guys, how are you? Welcome Hi, to the right. studio. Thank Cheers, you. bro. Good Pleasure. You, Take Chris? a seat. How, how, how you doing? Good, Good to see you. <laughs> this is like all awkward now. Oh. <laughs> nice to see you. Take a so seat, many please. Kisses. Welcome to our studio. Um, oh, I'm in the middle. Oh, look how's at your? That. It's a Saturday. How has your day been? Good? Bad? Yeah, not bad, not bad. We had, um, this morning we had the rehearsal. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh, we shall talk more about that later. So, welcome oh. to the show. Very excited about a possible <clears throat> live performance with you guys uh, yes. later. Still Hopefully, waiting for John yeah. Luca, right? So he's get, be doing a, be, off being a celebrity. Oh, um, nice! So if he turns he's up doing on some time, photo shoots. Yeah, he's, <laughs> vog he's voguing it. <laughs> voguing, exactly. <laughs> and also, we're going to test your musical knowledge later with the intros round. How's your music knowledge? I mean, you're in a band. So. Uh, no, not that bad. But, uh... <laughs> okay, good. But first up, something we like to call Trudy's Pro. Mm -hmm. Now, I haven't actually interviewed you guys before, so let me tell you what this is. I've got away and done some research on you. I read it back to you, hopefully, by way of an introduction, hopefully I get it right. If I get anything wrong, please just tell me. Okay? And I'm keeping score. We boo you. Are you just, just, no, yeah, no. just highlighted. <laughs> Did you say boo me? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if there's anything wrong, because I like to keep score. Okay, okay, are you ready for this? Here we go. The Crowns formed in February 2010, launching themselves an indie pop alternative rock band with influences from The Killers, Snow Patrol, The Kings of Leon, just to name a few. Their debut single in 2011, Memories, enjoyed huge success, topping Malta's top ten charts and getting airtime in the UK. Ah. The band enjoyed success again with the band's <coughs> second single, Out of Nowhere. The Crowns ended this year with a, winning both the Best Newcomer and the Viewer's Choice Awards at the Bay Music Awards in 2011. 2012 saw the Crowns gigging across Malta and later in the year releasing their single Never Ends, which was released, uh, which released the band's first video. In 2013, the band launched their debut album Someone Else. Band were nominated and won Best Band at the BMAs in 2013 and nominated at the Malta Music Awards 2014 for Best Band and Best Album. <gasps> How am I doing? Yeah, yeah, you're doing good. You're, you're doing good. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. This is like an essay, you realise that. <laughs> um, last year, the Crowns rocked Not a Bianca, Campus <clears throat> Fest, Burgu Fest, and the Belland Music Festival, the Fa Farsons Beer Festival, and Teatro Unplugged, which is where I first saw you. 2014 saw the b band play at the Song for Europe. Malta mm -hmm. Eurovision Song Contest, but not entering, obviously. Then headlining the Malta Music Awards, playing at the Salima Street Art Festival, the Beer Festival again, and the Delicata Wine Festival. They also played Campus Fest recently to a sell-out crowd. And the, the ship building, the music. Music, oh. music and Steel, steel. Music music and steel, steel Festival. festival. Ah. That was in May. I didn't yeah. get that music and steel. You forgot festival. that one. <laughs> 
That's not wrong, though, Trudy. That's just... No, no, but you're doing, you're doing really well, yeah. Cry. <laughs> <laughs> this year also saw the release of Someone Else, the single uh, from the album of the same title. Not only did the single have an incredible and distinctive sound, but also had a groundbreaking animated mm. video. The combination of the awesome track video and this special sound propelled the band to the charts and extensive airplay throughout the summer and still today. The Crowns are an awesome band with a great and fresh sound. Round of applause for Trudy, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, nothing <laughs> wrong at all, right? No, 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 no. 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 Just, I just missed the... You just uh, forgot the... the and that was windy, the the that was windy, festival. that event. That was um, in May. In May was... No, uh, March, March it was. I think it's, it was in March. Was in March. I think it was and if I seem to remember rightly, the Ooh. weather was really bad, wasn't it? <laughs> mm. well, we Wasn't it windy? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> Your um, the album, which we're playing on our radio show, um, which and we love the the current single. How's that? That album's been out now over twelve months, <coughs> right? Yes. Yes. How's that going now? Is it you still riding that wave from the album? Is it still, or are you looking yeah. now already looking forward to the next 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 album? Well, actually, um, someone else, the single was the last song we were going to release from that album, mm. and we're thinking <clears> of. <throat> writing some new material now. In fact, we've recorded some, some stuff in August. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. It's going to be finished soon. Like pre-Christmas? No, no, no. no. Okay. 2015. 2015. 2015. Not yeah. Christmas yet. No, sure, sure. Someone we else might have perhaps... something, but we don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone else, as Trudy mentioned, <laughs> the, the video is incredible. Um, Thank that you. was made in Malta? Yes. yes. Yeah. Fantastic. The animation's really nice and work. You must be really mm -hmm. proud of it. Was it a band decision to not have you in the video and to, to do something animated? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we've been was. wanting to do that for a long time, actually. Yeah. Was, do something where, where we don't feature at all. Yeah. I can remember the first time I saw that was when actually the very first time when we had... Last season, wasn't it? Had, in the Thursday Night Project, we had Gianluca and John Paul yeah. come on the show and we played that and I actually cried. Did you? I, I did, yeah. I was like... <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. But it's not it's quite a song. Oh, I know, I know. It's quite, it's quite an emotion in a song. Like... But I cried because it was so good. The video just was artistically incredible. Let's see it. Oh, okay. goody. We've got it right now on the Saturday good Night cry. Project for you. The Crowns with someone else.
Crowns with someone else on the Saturday Night Project. Ooh. Good work, guys. Thank you. Thanks. How, video's great. Two questions. Firstly, how long did it take um, for that to be produced? Mm. How long did it take? I think it was like eight, eight weeks. Eight weeks. More. Really? Something like that, yes. Something like that. Only the, only the, the production. Yeah. Man, just the video. Just the video, yes. Because before there were other plans, you know, like the sketch for the storyline. Oh, you know. I see. Of the development of the idea. Exactly. Yes, yes, and that yes, took yes. a lot longer. Before those eight weeks. Yeah. And, and the, 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 that's you guys, right? Obviously, I know you played the song, but the, <laughs> the characters, the animated characters, are meant to look like you guys. At the end, right? yeah. yeah. Okay, yes, yes. fantastic. I love very what cool, Chris cool. just said. He said, uh, no, because they're all the same height as me. You're obviously really tall. Yeah. <laughs> He's not normal. Unfortunately. Or <laughs> No, no. For them. <laughs> oh, I suppose. Fair enough. Listen, um, obviously that, and I did get teary again. Thank you very much there for just... You're worse. For just, You're worse. You're worse. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, but that's such, such a big song, such a big video, and just amazing. I played it to friends in the UK, in and out of the music business, and they just all loved it. You talked a little bit earlier just about now you're sitting down to write new songs and this is the last song from the album does that is that not a really intimidating process are you not mm. sitting there going how do we top that how do we follow it yeah it is actually. it is yes well the the, the, <laughs> the idea about it was um, uh, when it came to new new stuff it's like you it shouldn't be a continuation from this album sure so in, in that respect that's not seeking to top something that it's already existing it's like we're trying to move a little bit away from that sound so, so would you say you're, the stuff you're writing now is a is a progression it's a different sound to this album it is a little bit it, a little it, a little, not a little bit. of course it's still because it's still the crowns yeah. exactly. exactly it's still the crowns yeah yeah, yeah. So and and you've had along with that single you've had a really big year what for each of you and together what's been the highlight of your year mm. Uh, Is it the we, steel? Actually, we had, actually, we had a really busy was, year was because amazing, uh, Chris and Gianluca, um, uh, they, they were doing the last exams and yeah. the thesis. We were finishing our, our yes. studies. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So, but but uh, summer was, was quite... Summer was packed and uh, I think for, for myself, in my opinion, the highlight of this year was the Music and Sea Festival. The which one? The Music and Sea Festival. The, the Music and Steel March. Festival. The one in March. The, 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 venue, oh, was, the venue was something different, was was amazing, it was amazing, for, for, in my opinion. And for you guys, the same? Or? Yeah, that was huge. Thousands of people. Oh, right. fantastic. For me, I've got a soft spot with the Hawaiian Festival. Yes. Oh, it's so bless you. That one, my favorite, uh -huh. my favorite event. It's a better kind of festival, <laughs> wine or steel? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're going to be carrying on talking to you in a little bit. We're also going to be talking to Greg Atard. So, ladies and gentlemen, keep listening. Uh, we're going to be back in just a few minutes and a lot more to come. <laughs> Makeup Factory. High-end makeup. One Night Stand Al darba bis se shandar nar il jima fid disa naqsin kwart Grazie al 
Inglot. Bring out the star in you. Welcome back to the Saturday Night Project. <laughs> uh, we've got the crowns in, and hopefully they're going to be doing exclusive live performance later if John Luca turns up. But right now we've got a new guest, Mr. Greg Attard. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome well, to the show. Actually, Doctor. Doctor Greg Attard. Doctor Greg Attard. Of course, Attard. I do apologise. <laughs> Uh, we, we, we like to start things off, Greg, as you've just seen with the crowns, um, with Trudy's profile. Uh, you probably also saw that I quite like to keep score if Trudy gets anything wrong, and I'm hoping you did so well with the crowns. I'm thank hoping you very that much. You, you don't do as well. Well, listen, <coughs> oh, thanks a lot. Thanks so much for that. Well, listen, support, I have you know. to say, Greg, you're one of the most exciting guests we have. Oh, you guys as well, obviously. But just <laughs> when I was doing the, the research on you, just what you have achieved was really, really motivating. Let's hope. I've got it right. So here we go. 37 year old Dr. Greg Attard. 38. Oh! oh Wrong at the start. Thanks ever so much there. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. Um, is one stonkingly awesome adventurer. Writing this profile was somewhat intimidating. Uh, Dr. Greg is a doctor by trade, a mountaineer, and now a recognized mountain medic. He's climbed almost all of the highest mountains in the world before this being his biggest challenge, which I'm coming to. On the 17th of May, 2010, Gregory Tard, Marco Cremona and Robert Gatt became the first Maltese ever to conquer Mount Everest, the world's highest mountain, reaching the peak at 3.16 a.m. Maltese time. Yeah. Yeah, look at me in my research. Uh, the climb was particularly difficult because of strong, biting cold winds, but they managed to plant the Maltese flag at the top of the world. Not only did Greg climb the summit and make the descent, he then played a crucial role in a life-saving rescue for a uh, mission for a British woman, Bonita Norris, who started suffering serious physical, physical uh, um, conditions after a minor injury during her descent. So, right? Mm -hmm. Only hours after completing his climb, he himself was heading back up the mountain to offer crucial medical assistance. Greg found himself administering medical assistance in the dark at 8,250 metres in temperatures of minus 20. Uh, the, so epic was this feat that you hit all the newspapers in the UK who then said that you were a hero. I mean, you were, obviously. Uh, not only did Greg and his team return safely from this mission uh, to be the first Maltese to climb Mount, to the summit, you then returned this year with a new team, a new team and climbed yeah. again, reaching the, the peak on May the 29th. From the north side this time. From the ah, north side. Right. Did I get did I get it right? <clears throat> yes. Round of applause yeah. for Trudy, please. Woo! Definitely um, not even close to having climbed all, all the main main. Oh, main, no. okay, no, okay, fair enough. But, but if you've, you've done Everest, then who cares about the rest? Uh, um, not really, not really. <laughs> okay, sure. I've got a question for you. Um, you planted the flag at the top of Everest. When you got there, were there other flags there? Or did they get blown away? Because I have this image in my head of everyone who climbs it putting their flag. <laughs> yeah. it, I, too many flags. I have the same. <laughs> when, when you get to the summit of a big mountain like, like Everest, there are usually, well, most of these mountains are in Nepal or in Tibet. So sure. there would be prayer flags. Some people leave um, personal items, um, something which uh, sort of is of significance to them, sort of a memento. Uh, and but it's still there. But it... personally, I, um, I've got one flag, one, a Maltese flag, which is uh, very close to, uh, it's very important to me. Sure. Um, and I've been carrying it around the world for 15, 20 years now. Wow. So wow. It, gets, it gets to the summit, but definitely it gets you take back it back down. down. Can I ask, has it been in the wash? <laughs> yes. Okay, fair yes. enough. So and it's well, not smelling. Which, which is harder, <laughs> going up or coming down? <clears throat> Coming down is usually, well, when you, you've got the summit in sight, mm. um, you've got this um, compulsion, we call it summit fever, right. and the adrenaline keeps you going. However, unfortunately, most uh, accidents happen on the way down, mm. because most people are exhausted, they sure. lose focus, they spend everything on the way up, 
but we always say sort of the, the summit is halfway. Mm. Sure, of course. And Can you not that... just sledge down? <laughs> <laughs> or ski down. Just off you go. Sometimes. Ski down. I think Sometimes. that was one of the questions I wanted to ask because, you know, as you said, everybody thinks of, of getting up to the top, nobody thinks of, of mm. coming down. Um, I, when I was writing the questions, I just, I've never written this many questions before. I just had so many things to ask you, but I think one of the first things that I really wanted mm -hmm. to know was, you're Maltese, mm -hmm. you grew up in Malta, I presume, oh, in uh, the 11th smallest country in the world, uh, which has a beautiful warm climate and no mountains. How on earth did you decide from there that actually, you know what I want to do, I want to climb mountains? Well, you, I've, I always sort of was uh, interested in outdoors, in the outdoors and rock climbing here in Malta. We've got a fantastic, uh, the it's, it's well. the ideal place for rock climbing, mm. we think of Kalimnos in Greece, but more is better. Yeah. Um, so that was the 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 the, um, the start of it all. Mm. And then um, you start going to the Alps, and let's face it, we we tend to pursue activities which we're good at, and activities which complete us. So it was a natural uh, it was a natural progression of events. For sure. uh, every time you want to climb something harder, something higher. Mm. Uh, right. You went up the, the second time you climbed, you went up the north side, yeah. you say. Was that for the experience of doing a different route, or was you trying to beat a time? Or no, no, no. no. What, what took you back there? I thought um, Everest is, is, is a bit overrated. I mean, it's, it, is, <laughs> it is the highest mountain in the world. I was sure. not expecting anyone to ever say, Everest is a bit overrated. <laughs> <laughs> because so many people want to climb Everest, okay. there's a structure in place. And oh. You can get help to climb Everest. Oh! I mean... <laughs> like maps, uh, like a route and... No, no, well, no. Sherpas, be, you must... Exactly. Right. They, do, they, do, they do most of the work, okay? It's a massive undertaking and... Um, however, there are... I've climbed mountains which are less high, uh, which have given me a lot more fulfilment. Uh, wow! Sure. Now this year was a, a, I mean, Everest 2010 was the f was a first. Okay, so there was all this. Yeah, the big hype yeah. and the excitement. Now, 2014. First of all, the the best decision we've ever taken was to climb from the north side. Right. Um, because of the the avalanche uh, and the the that on the on the south side. Which right. The, the season closed. No one summited from the south side this year. Um, but the north side is a um, more technical route, it's harder, and the camps are higher, um, so uh, it was a bit of a challenge. Mm. And when the three clients, friends, um, approached me and told me they want to do Everest again, I thought, nah. Yeah, done it. But, no, but um, you know, I'm very easily convinced when it comes to the mountains. Right. Um, so when they called again, I thought, okay, let's do it from the north side. Um, and this time it was a big satisfaction for me, not reaching the summit myself, but actually having people guide people. Having yeah. guide oh, people. right, of course. So you're the experienced one suddenly wow. in, that, in that situation. I mean, uh, one of the other questions. And getting them back down mm. safely. And getting them back down, more. which is, it was is as a major important. ordeal this year. And um, in, in the profile, you mentioned that Greg did, um, became a hero. Let's just put it, wrap it up mm. like that. Yeah. This was during your climb. So you were on the way down and you stopped all that to help other people. It's, it's a, there are many people on the mountain um, and there are separate sort of different expeditions. However, at, when, when you're in base camp, you tend to have sort of sister expeditions where you share the same mast and you share the same Sherpa team, you share, uh. you share the same fixing team on the mountain. So you get to know there are, at, uh, during the peak time on the south side, there are close to 600 people in base camp. Wow, okay. So, wow. It's like a town, yes. a small town. Yes. Are you serious? It's a small town, yes. There's a it's lot a of people town. doing this Everest thing. And there, uh, the, the, this year, um, uh, because of the, 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 the big avalanche and the, and the ice mm. fall, um, everything stopped, but there were close to 700 climbers. Now, double that with Sherpas, cooks, guides. Of course. Good grief. It's dangerous. Crowns, wow. ever climbed Everest? Yeah. No, not yet. No, not yet. It's <laughs> on your bucket list. <laughs> minus 20 is cold. Though. I mean, I'm English and we get minus 10 in January, don't we? we like, not where I used to live. No, well, <laughs> Londoner. I have, I have a question. Um, 
and I guess this is to both of you. And I, I mean, I, I just, I'm going to have to ask you all these questions another time. But, but to, to all of you, uh, what you do, whether you're uh, um, got ambitions for your music or whether you do, must take a massive amount of time out of your schedule. And that means that you're, because you're a doctor and you guys have daytime jobs as well. How do you find that balance? Mm. How do you? You don't. You don't. <laughs> Sleep less. So well, which just... comes first? Well, it depends. If it's autumn, and during autumn there isn't much to climb unless you go, <laughs> you work. Right. Um, in winter it's skiing time, in summer it's climbing time. <laughs> so, nice. so you work your life around exactly. the, the schedule. Exactly. What about for you guys? I mean, you, you're doing, I guess it, yours is slightly seasonal as well. Yeah, Sorry, it was because of Chris, Jean Paul, and Gianluca because of their exams. Right. Uh, of course, we, we work, we, work um, we have our job as well during the day. Uh, I have a family, I have a child. Uh, so and summer, you're gigging lots, I guess. I mean, summer's when, exactly. when all the gigs Exactly, so are every, everyone has his, his own uh, personal things as well. So we try to... Um, uh, Especially with Jean, with Jean Paul uh, studying in Rome abroad, at the moment. Right. Whenever he's coming back to Malta, we try to prioritize that. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow. And I mean, it's it's a totally, completely different scenario than climbing up mountains. <laughs> it's totally different, and uh, well done from our side as well. Yeah, but, uh, I guess it's a bit of a build-up preparation, yes. and then yes. that's, that's it. you exactly. get your summit day when you perform. Exactly, yeah. it's, it's like it's a all nice about paper. You know? It's the same. <laughs> Doing something you're passionate about, though, is, I think, as well as working, is what we're all talking about here, whether it's climbing or music or, or whatever you do. Me going out. <laughs> <laughs> I have another question which applies again to all of you, but, um, but let's start with you, Greg. It, you've climbed Everest, and it sounds as if it was a... Uh, it's like disappointing, um, no, no, but no, 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 but no, no I'm teasing. But but what is there that's left now? What is the next thing that that, that you want to do? What is the next thing, Chris? To do? Okay, well, at the moment we're the we're, we're writing thing. our original music. We're, we're on the build up of, of doing some uh, original music. And the next big the, thing. The next big thing is, is maybe go going abroad. abroad. Ah. Like, uh, playing abroad. Playing abroad. Taking yeah. abroad. Going wow. gigging. Uh, in the UK, maybe. Ooh, nice. And for you, Greg? Greg wishes well, there was a taller mountain <laughs> in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got a big dream, which is um, getting to the South Pole. Oh. Uh, doing an unsupported expedition from coast to pole. Very cool. Wow. Uh, yeah. Wow. Um, it's been in the pipeline. I've planned it all. In, in just uh, when you come down from a mountain, you go, "Ah, oh, I want to do everything." Of course. Um, so I had planned it on uh, in, during the, after the 2010 uh, climb, but then it never materialized. But it's still in the. How it's amazing! It's a big, big bucket. How amazing! <laughs> Listen, the next challenge is uh, to make sure we endure the intros round and well, the quickfire round. This is coming up shortly, the quickfire and intros round, isn't it, Trudy? <laughs> it most certainly is. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere, because we're going to be carrying on in just a few minutes. Beyond expectations. Win a 2,000 euro shopping spree thanks to Manorino. One radio Red Touch Phone you present out the Red Touch Phone Christmas Lottery. Wish to participate? About SMS for Hamza Zero Sita we had Saba we had zero zero. You wish to billet men who in at authorizati. Big chance to terbah 4K 65 inch LED Grundig TV. Valur tat le telef tmemia o hamsin euro. Samsung Galaxy S5. Valur ta sit mit euro. Weekend break in 14 resort and spa, valur tat let mit euro. Zurna fuq Facebook al aktar tarif, jo ċemplinna fuq 9811-0100. Ipparteċipa u irbaħ dan il-milit.
tkollu jum fissija naqsin kwart. Fkala mita, stenna kollu. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part three of the Saturday Night Project with Greg Attard and the Crowns. <laughs> it's my favourite part of the show, truly. Hey. Um, because we're going to test, I'm going to pitch you against each other. Greg, it's you versus the Crowns in the intros round. Are you on Greg's team? Uh, I'm going to be on Greg's okay. team, yes. That's coming up very shortly. Plus, you guys are going to play for us, yes. Fantastic. Yep. <laughs> um, a limited edition um, set from you guys, because John Luca's not here, yeah, but exactly it's going to be awesome. Does, does but first up, the quick fire round. Let me tell you how this works. I'm going to fire questions at you quickly. quickly. That's it. <laughs> Are you ready? We're going to ask every question to each of you. I'm going to start at the end here with Luke, and I might just, you know, mix it up a little bit. Luke, what did you want to be when you were young? A racing driver. Cool. Ooh, nice. Yes. Teacher. A teacher. Okay. Are you a teacher? No. <laughs> <laughs> Chris? Policeman. A policeman? Yes. Is that because you're tall? No, because my granddad was a policeman. Very nice. Stop Very nice. Really care I'm people's not. Height. I like tall people. Okay. <laughs> it's come up a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, what did you want to be when you were young? Older, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, what was your career dream? I'm going to start with you, Greg. What is your career dream? At present. Yeah. It's combining medicine <coughs> and mountaineering. So the mountaineering so, doctor part yeah. of it, you just want to do more of that. <laughs> Amazing. Chris? Rockstar. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. And Rockstar. Eh? Make them three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that, so easy That was quick enough, yeah? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Thank you. What is your tipple? I'm going to start with you over there, Luke. What's your tipple? A tipple is something that you like to relax with, a drink that you like to relax with. A uh, nice cu cup of tea. Nice cup, cup of tea. tea. Yeah. How very British of you. <laughs> <laughs> Still water or hot chocolate? What? what? Okay, You're fair musicians. enough. musicians. <laughs> <laughs> so you have this rock star life, but you like to go home to a hot chocolate and a cup of tea. Yeah. Very nice. With marshmallows. <laughs> With, well, look at that. That's the dangerous bit Quick there. Quick fire round. Quick fire round. <laughs> Tell me. Whiskey with one ice cube. Very nice, How very specific. And Greg? And a good squash with no ice. Oh, good man, no ice, that's how I like it. Um, We've seen enough on Everest. <laughs> when, you, when you aren't gigging, climbing, doctoring, doing whatever you do, uh, writing music or working, how do you like to unwind? What do you do to unwind, Greg? You usually go for a run. Go for a run? Oh, man, after my own heart. Just relax at home, oh, nice. doing nothing. Feet up. <laughs> Cooking. Cooking. Yeah. We're all coming round to your house. And Luke? Driving go-karts. Driving go-karts. Yeah. I'm seeing a theme there. Race driving. Um, what's the favourite destination that you visited? I'm actually going to ask you, Victoria. Munich. In Germany? Yeah. Very nice. Go the other Munich. <laughs> thank you so, so much. Yes, thank you for that. Tell me. Uh, Netherlands and Norway. I'm, I can't decide between the two. Ooh, nice. Um, Indonesia, actually. Indonesia? Yes. Ooh, no, fantastic. Sumatra in particular. <coughs> Sumatra. A, a place I've always wanted to go. Tell me, where, where for you? I love Belgium. Belgium? I went to a tiny town uh, last, uh, last December uh, for the New Year. It's uh, close to Genk, Maywen. And uh, I liked the, 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 the lifestyle over there. It's, and the chocolate. It's laid back. Yeah, chocolate. <laughs> it was cool. And Who's beer. had the biggest influence on your career? And I'm going to start with you. Um, on my musical career, then I think it, it, my brother. When I was young, I was uh, all the time brainwashed with music, you know, Queen wow. and you too. So what's his name? James. Is he watching? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, James. Uh, hello, James. Hi. <laughs> and for you, Victoria. And my grandfather. My grandfather. Fantastic. Uh, uh, the same as Luke. He he, he used to like. Not you, you have to sing, but when I started singing, he always with me and uh, calling nice. that. And supported calling you. Yes, yeah, supported really me. Nice. Chris. Yeah. Uh, there's a bassist, they call him the wizard of the bass. He has a long white beard and long white hair. He's called Leland Sklar. He's actually not in a band, but he's played bass for most music ever made. You working wow. on the beard? No. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, what's your answer? Well, the, 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 sort of the medical career happened a bit by accident. Okay. I was abroad and someone actually um, uh, put an application in for me. 
Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. Um, I to be a to, doctor. I tried to get out of it for a year, but then I thought, well, why not? Let's give it a try. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, from, from the mountaineering, from the mountaineering, um, the, it, ju it just happened. It just happened. Um, I was involved in the scout movement for a very long time, and maybe th that there's the, the adventure business came what from there. Nice answer. Cool. I thought you were going to say you, you walked up a hill and thought, need to do that again. Need to, need to, <laughs> need to reach new heights. Um, who would you like to uh, climb with or collaborate with, to play with or work with? Let's start with you over there. Mm, um, I think it's, uh, it's someone from you too. From you too? Yes. Ah, yes. Good for you, Vittorio. Um, I, I like all type of styles of music. I think I'll go with Michael Bublé. Michael, Michael Bublé? I was not expecting that. Chris? Dave Grohl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and for you, who would you like to, <coughs> to climb, climb with? Yeah, who would you like to but climb I with? But I wouldn't be able to keep up. Uli Steck. Um, he's he's um, a speed climber, and basically he does in a day what we do in a month. Uh, he's, he's a skinny guy. He's young, right? He's he's maybe er, early thirties. Yeah, yeah, early yeah. He, They call him the Swiss That's young machine. The <laughs> <laughs> Swiss machine. The Swiss machine. The Swiss machine. He's yeah, Swiss. He's, yes. That was a really blonde question, wasn't it? Okay, fair enough. Um, just one thing from your... Bu <laughs> That's enough. One thing from your bucket list. Have you done everything what's left on your bucket list? No, no. Tell we, me we one to, thing. We need to get a larger bucket. Mm. <laughs> um, as I mentioned before, it's the South Pole. South Pole. So, Fantastic. For you? Skydiving. Skydiving? Yeah. yeah, I'm afraid of heights, and skydiving is one of the bucket list items. That <laughs> I Good for you like guys. Do, You're yeah. going to go skydiving together? <laughs> We should. We should. <laughs> I'm going to copy my answer, guys. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's it. We'll see you when you've done that. Um, what would you like to have on your epitaph? What would you like to be remembered for? I'm going to ask you first, Greg. Thanks. What would you like to really be remembered for? Well, always coming back from mountains. Mm. That is a really good <laughs> epitaph. What a fantastic one. I don't know if this counts, but I don't want people to remember me for being tall. Anything. I won't say it ever again, <laughs> I'm getting the hint. Victoria. You know, being maybe a happy guy. Um, um, cool. Yeah, that time, That's nice. Also. Luke? I think it, it would be a good idea to be best remembered as a good parent and a good grandfather. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's a really nice one. Last question, gentlemen. Who would you most like to have a pint with, dead or alive? I'm going to start with Greg. Hmm. Interesting. Probably I go for the same guy. For Uli. the same guy, yeah. the, the guy from Switzerland. <laughs> I had yes, that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Victor Wooten is one of the best bassists alive at the moment. Mm -hmm. And for mm -hmm. you? No, exactly. Maybe, maybe um, uh, Queen. Um, Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury. Freddie what Mercury. Would you ask him? <laughs> I was. Did you find that question? There's a few please? questions. <laughs> <laughs> I would ask him where he left his yellow pants. Yeah. <laughs> Luke, no, for you. Exactly. I think I would either uh, ask Ayrton Senna or Michael Schumacher. I'm wow. seeing the theme. Very cool. Gentlemen, thank you very much. That, you'll be glad to know, is the end of the quick fire round. All right. Hurrah. Well Ooh. done. Well done. So next up on the show, uh, we're going to be doing the intros round, aren't we, Trudy? Oh, joy. Are you guys ready? Right. To have your Let's musical see. knowledge tested. Greg, how good I are you so. at music? Well, so, guys. I've, I've been listening to the same this thing songs for 25 years. <laughs> yeah. So, so Saturday Night like Project <laughs> intros round. It goes like this It's Greg Attard versus The Crowns. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. 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 Really? Whenever I say that, I need a yes, because I say it a lot. Okay. Um, <laughs> I've chosen nine songs that are either big songs that you should know or maybe in some way related to The Crowns or Greg Attard. I warned Greg about this. Yeah, they might be related in a, in a slightly obscure way. <laughs> as soon as you know the song title or artist or both, shout it out. I'll be keeping score. So we've got Greg. Trudy, which team are you on? I I'm going with Greg. Greg I versus the crowd. No, <laughs> these guys have a, an advantage. Greg and Trudy, it's like G&T. Yeah, look these, at that. They're musicians. They're musicians. Yes, that's what I'm that's saying. Why that's why it's no, going to be that's embarrassing, embarrassing if it moves. But I, I've been doing yes. this a while. It doesn't always <laughs> a bit always less embarrassing. Greg has just told me that he's been listening to the same 10 songs for the last 10 years. Let's hope they're... Let's <laughs> hope that if they're on there, you'd better get them. <laughs> Are you ready for track number one, right. guys? Yes. Song title and artist, as soon as you know it, please. This is a big rock song 
from the 90s, I think. Metallica? Yep. Yes. Uh, What's the name of this song? Come on. Really easy. Don't sing. Joy. Metallica. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Glue. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Uh, I know it's oh, Yes, yes, on. yes, yes. <laughs> no, okay. It's really easy Tell me, tell me. Ah. No. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, give up? Uh, no, no, don't give up. No, it's not. What's the, What's the name? What's the name? I don't know what the name is. <laughs> I had to sing it. Okay, okay. Nothing else matters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, oh my word. Great stuff. Yeah, One point to the crowd. That looked like that was yeah. really painful. We almost got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the little. Your tongue down was worth it, truly. Not. <laughs> Track number two. We're going hip hop now. Oh. No. Okay. So, <laughs> um, are you ready? Things. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, ooh, four years ago, I think maybe five, maybe six. Or Might seven. have been 2003. I can't remember. <laughs> Down title. and Diggy with it. No, not Down and Diggy with it. No, that does sound like a 50 Cent track. He's doing something all the time. Greg, this is related to you. Actually, I recognised him. Running, I running, running all the time. He's running all the time. He's climbing all the time. High He's... all the time. Oh. Oh. Not yeah. saying a whole the time, but for the mountains, obviously. <laughs> we have a half a point, though. You don't have half a point for that. One and a half points to the crowns and zero to G&T. Oh, wait, Victoria's very keen about the points there. Yeah. I was at a half point. Of yeah. course. Yeah, so so like he's been doing thing. all the work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so track number three for the intros round then. Okay. Uh, this one is slightly related. <coughs> Greg, this is slightly related to you again. Ooh. Are you ready? Are yes, you ready? Yes. 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 <laughs> okay, song title artist as soon as you know it. This is an 80s song. I might get it then. You might. You, you, you'll probably know it. Whitney Houston. No. Close. Do you know it? Sure. Not Oh. Oh. There's a lyric that says, when the river was deep yes, and the mountain yes, was high. Ain't no mountain high? No. Oh. <laughs> Don't know the guess. Oh. It's a coalition between two artists, Aretha Franklin and... Anybody? 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 Useless. Yes. Uh, George Michael <laughs> and Aretha Franklin, I knew you were waiting because there's a lyric there in that mountain. So, okay. Look at that tenuous, tenuous Zero. Connection. To everyone. That like the same. Track number four, again, related to Greg. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the internet is such a dangerous place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, two or three years old. She goes under a different name now. You raise me up. Lady Gaga. No. Danny Minogue. Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. Yes. Yes. The Climb. 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 Miley Cyrus mm. and The Climb. To the uh, crowds, I'm, I'm congratulations. We're, we're doing fine. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're letting oh, them win. Yeah. Current um, score is two and a half points to the crowds. Question. GMT, <laughs> zero. <laughs> True. You, you're Question. sitting next to Greg is hard. I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but we're, we're losing. Question, we're losing. Who's Miley? What's her name now, Miley Cyrus? Um, uh, it's part of the film, The Climb, isn't What's it? her name I think now? it's the soundtrack Miley Cyrus and um, Hannah Montana. <laughs> Hannah Montana. Sorry, no, her no. name was oh, Hannah Montana. Oh, her gotcha. real name is right. Miley Cyrus. Okay. 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 I don't follow her like these guys. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so, <laughs> so lost. <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm so happy I didn't know that last song. Track mm -hmm. number five. Oh, really? <laughs> Are you ready? This is easy. Yeah, yeah. You should all get this. Okay? Go on, then. Hope so. It's Queen. Queen! Queen! Bohemian Queen. Rhapsody. Queen. Not like it's absolutely like it's Queen. Somebody to love! Come on. So he said it. Half a point each. Exactly. He said Half Queen a point each. Oh, okay. oh, sorry, Julia, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> g and half a point. The Crowns that was actually three on the points list. currently. <laughs> you can still crawl it back, Trudy. Uh, next track, Maltese Music. Big track this year. Someone else. This is... Uh, the Riffs? The riffs? Uh, nothing gets the power. Uh, the Riffs? Oh. Uh, uh, I have to sing it again. Uh, it is the Riffs. We've both got that yeah. at the same time. Uh, yeah. They are half point each. Whole lot of nothing. Yeah. Woo! That's half a point. No, it's not. 
It's one point to the crowns and half a point to G&T. Currently, one point to G&T and four points to the crowns. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's not over yet. <laughs> Next track for you. <laughs> track number seven. This is Maltese music. Um, big track this year. You should all know this. Are you ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Trudy. <laughs> okay. Slow start. It's a slow... Someone there's the glass. Someone else. Well, that's they got it. two you points. You could have left it. Well. <laughs> they got it. <laughs> can you, can you, you know that, that automatically, it's two points to us, no? Yes, Why? yes. Why automatically. Is that? What's that? It's, 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 it's <laughs> 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 We're trying to conduct, oh, sorry, trying to conduct the intros around there. I love competition sometimes. I can <laughs> see. Currently, five <laughs> points for the crowds and one point to Team G&T. Oh. There's two tracks left. You could save it. You can't really. But uh, <laughs> next track for you. Big track in the charts. Not related to anyone. It's about lampshades. That's nice. Yeah. Ready? Go on. Yes, we're yeah. ready. Yeah. OK. Party girls, don't Chandelier. Yeah. Chandelier, see ya. Oh, man. Six points to the crowns. Number two. Right? One point to <laughs> Team G&T. <laughs> it's OK. We, Can you do okay the dance with the video? We don't know this. The dance with the video? Yeah. That's it. That, were yeah. you in the video? I yes. Yeah. Yeah. Of course it was. I thought that the girl had to dance. But they, they lose a point no, for that. No, that was you, no? But they no, lose a no, point for dancing. Uh, no. <laughs> no. I don't know. <laughs> Judge's decision is final. There's one... <laughs> control yourself, people. There's one more track of the intros around left. Are you ready? I'm happy. Yeah! I'm happy. Thank God. Oh, my word. <laughs> um, big track. Big this year. It's in the charts. Not related to anyone. She's got curly ginger hair, I think. It's no. ginger Are you ready? spice. Ginger spice. Are you ready? <laughs> Yes, yes. I like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No See, so I get a point for that. Half point. Finally, I'm where I want to be. I didn't think no, that what? life was going to be Do we get a point if they don't know it? And no. Like you gave me to discover was right here. Anybody? No. Right, right here. Right here. It is right here. <gasps> Bye. Bye. We won, we won. Hold on, hold on. Who's it won? by? No, I have no idea. Shirley Temple. Wrong. <laughs> Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple. Dolly Parton. Jess Glynn. I was coming right to that here. one right next. OK, so the final scores are, <laughs> after this hilarious intro, <laughs> man, <laughs> the crowns, six and a half points. And <gasps> Team G&T, one and a half hey! points. Hey! We're sorry, we're sorry. Congratulations. No, I've not. never played this with the more competitive <laughs> no, people not. ever. I know. How amazing. Um, we've almost run out of time, guys. Oh, one no. <laughs> Is that? Get me home. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks, really Steve. appreciate Thank it. Greg, pleasure to meet you and to learn everything about uh, what you've been doing in medicine, but also uh, with the climbing. Love the music. We play it on our show. Um, please let us know when there's more coming. Oh, yes. And um, you. you're going to perform for us? Yep. If yep. you'd like to make your way to the stage, we shall tell everyone about our Facebook page. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, please do have a look on Facebook and join us and find out what's going on, find out the gossip, find out uh, who's coming up next. Um, and also we have some great competitions coming up and we also have uh, the opportunity for you to ask future guests the questions. Absolutely. So get in touch with us here at the Saturday Night Project. All you need to do is uh, send us a text. Very simple. You can tell us what to ask our guests. 5061 5555. It's 70 cents. Get in touch with us and let us know what you want us to ask our guests. The guest li list is on the Facebook page, as truly said. That number again, 5061 5555. 70 cents. I have had such an amazing it's been fun today. show. And Greg, it's been so wonderful to have you on the show. Thank you so much for finally Thanks coming for on the show. It's been brilliant. And playing us out at the end of this fine Saturday evening is The Crowns, minus John Luca. Jolene, 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 Jolene I'm begging of you, please don't take my man Jolene, 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 Jolene Please don't take him just because you can Your beauty is beyond compare With lame locks of ebon hair With iris skin and eyes of emerald green 
Your smile is like a breath of spring That is soft like summer rain And I cannot compete with you, Jolene He talks about you in his sleep There's nothing I can do to keep From crying when he calls you named Jolene Easily understand how you could easily take my man, but you don't know what it means to me, Jolene. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. Jolene, 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 Jolene. choice of man but I could never love again he's the only one for me Jolie I had to have this talk with you my happiness depends on you and whatever you decide to do Jolie Jolene 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 I'm back Please don't take my man Jolene, 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 Jolene Please don't take him even though you can Jolene, Jolene